After several delays in 2024, the Starliner finally launched on June 5th. But the technical issues have now forced the return of Wilmore and Williams to be paused indefinitely. So they, those two astronauts stay up on the space station and wait. It's impossible, of course, for most of us to understand what these two astronauts are going through right now, but there are some people who may have a better understanding than others. Former astronaut Jose Hernandez was part of the 30th mission to the International Space Station, traveling 5.7 million miles in 332 hours and 53 minutes. Hernandez was working at NASA when his friend and her six crew members were all killed during the Columbia shuttle mission in 2003. Joining us now is former astronaut Jose Hernandez. It's so great to meet you and have you on the show. Um, okay. Great being here, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Trapped in space sounds like nightmare fuel to somebody who's claustrophobic like me. Uh, reassure me um, and all of our viewers out there um, that these astronauts are okay, at least for a few more weeks. Yes. Well, first of all, let me just tell you, my mission was a 14-day mission to the International Space Station on Space Shuttle Discovery. And Elizabeth, if you told me you, you have to stay an extra one or three weeks, I would have been doing my happy dance. You uh, were. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, because we want to be up there. That's why. That's what we train for. That's what we want to be up there for. So uh, please don't think that these guys are in dire straits and they're hurting and they're worried. Uh, this is a new vehicle. This is normal operations for a new vehicle. We're taking the kinks out and making sure uh, that things are going to work great. In an emergency, the vehicle can be cleared to return back to Earth. But since we have the, um, the luxury of time, we want to make sure we do everything right. You remember the uh, space shuttle when it first came out? We had problems with piles falling all over the place. So there's, whenever there's a new vehicle, uh, it's, it's difficult. This, this just goes to show Going to space is not trivial. It's no, it's not. It's not. Um, and we've seen that horribly, tragically, a handful of times. Um, but, but get back. Are there anything these two astronauts can be doing with these extra days now stretching into weeks up there on the space station? Or are they just hanging out? No, uh, uh, you're always uh, busy. Believe me, when, uh, when we uh, had our, our assignments for those 14 days and we did get aheads, um, what happened, what would happen is you would get an email immediately to say, oh, since you have an extra half hour, do this, 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 and that. That's when you quickly learn when you do get aheads, you don't tell mission control because you want to enjoy the view of space. And, uh, and so you want to enjoy some personal time. But yes, uh, uh, they are helping in the International Space Station. Uh, Sunny has done a couple of stints on the International Space Station, so she knows it very well. Butch has been up there as well. And, uh, and so I'm sure Mission Control Houston is saying, okay, now we can do even more science. Let's send them some uh, things to do up there on the station so they can do some get-aheads for the other crew that's there, the other six members that are there. Uh, NASA has released very little information, really. Do you know, uh, in the astronaut world, I don't know if you guys will stay in touch, have you heard anything about how Sunny and Butch are doing up there? Yeah, yeah yes, I've, I have heard uh, that uh, they are in good spirits. They understand the situation, and, uh, and they will help whenever they can. If they need to do something and look at a certain area of the capsule that they'll go out there and uh, do it but uh so far i think uh it's just a matter of uh mission control houston all the subsystem managers getting comfortable with the fact that hey we do have a helium leak hey we do have a thruster that failed uh but uh, uh, but there's workarounds to all of these and they simulate it so and that's what they're doing right now so that everybody feels comfortable. Jose, how much of an, a concern is it for you that we've had so many issues with this Boeing uh, Starling capsule? I mean, we had issues with the thruster. We have all these helium leaks on board. The program faced delays after delays going back for years and years. You actually even applauded Boeing in May last month when the uh, launch was scrubbed at one point, saying it was more important to keep the crew safe. I mean, I guess I've got to ask, was this program rushed? Was Boeing unprepared or ill-equipped to do something this ambitious? I'm not sure if they were rushed. It's just a, uh, it's, it's just the uh, the type of design perhaps that they picked uh, was a little bit more complex than, for example, SpaceX. I mean, you know, the NASA basically gave contracts to both of these companies to uh, do something similar. 
And, uh, and Boeing costs almost twice as much as SpaceX, and SpaceX has had a lot of success. So you know there's a right way of doing things, and sometimes you just get the bad luck of uh, the design that you go with, and, uh, and, you, and problems just start to creep up, and apparently that's what, is, what has happened to Boeing. But Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.